Hi everyone, I'm Bahagen from Super Annotate Customer Experience Team and today I'm going to talk about project settings. So to go to your project settings, you need to go to the setup section and here you can see the settings tab. So here the first section is the general where you can uh, change your project name, add the project description, add an instruction link or file, uh, change a patch size, uh, this is the number for annotators or QAs that they can uh, request um, no, uh, items with a single click. And here you can also enable or disable the priority scores. Um, the priority scores are a uh, number also which are which is considered when the annotator or QA is requesting items. So uh, uh, items with higher priority scores uh, will uh, be sent to them. So you can also delete your project from here. Uh, the second tab is the editor where you can change some settings, default settings uh, for your editor. Uh, this part is missing for a text editor, uh, so there is nothing uh, that you can change. Uh, but uh, here uh, we can see the editor settings for uh, fill opacity, font size, point size, brightness and contrast. You can change these numbers. Uh, you can see this section for all the editors, uh, but here the show labels section is only for video and vector editors, um, where you can um, enable uh, classes, attributes, or points so that they will be shown in the editor. Uh, you can also find group IDs here for a vector editor, and here is the uh, setting uh, which is only for video editors, the uh, jumping and uh, jumping forward and backward uh, step seconds, uh, which are set at one second default. And here also you can see if your project uh, video project is in frame mode or not. Also here you can uh, find the permission section. Uh, where you can enable uh, some permissions for your project admins or annotators. Um, I will also share a link uh, to our documentation where you can find more information uh, for permissions for each role. And that's it. Thank you for your attention. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel not to miss our upcoming videos. And goodbye.